Good morning, guys. Just want to wish you all a very happy Monday. We here at the Time for Change Movement hope you had an amazing weekend and you are excited for this new week. For I believe that there are great things that are going on in your life and we just want to encourage you with that and with a little word this morning. So one of the things that has been very near and dear to my heart and at times is a struggle is prayer. And prayer is one of the things that I feel like in some churches is very focused on and others it's almost almost completely absent. And you know, I want to look quickly at one of the gospels in the Gospel of Mark chapter 1 verse 35 and it says very early in the morning while it was still dark Jesus got up left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Now the reality is that Jesus was a man, a human, just like you or I, and he did amazing things. Uh, granted, he was man as well as God, but you know, Jesus walked throughout his days, and you have to think about it. There were people that were trying to kill him. There were people mocking him. There were people that were putting him down. There were people that were criticizing him, and when you hear those words, maybe you feel like you can relate and you know when we read the Bible we get to hear a lot of the great things that Jesus has done and in the way he loves us but and I'm not sure I'm pretty sure I feel that there may have been a struggle in Jesus in learning his identity now he didn't sin right he didn't sit there and and completely run away from who he is or who he was but just like you or I I believe that there were questions that Jesus had and and every day I believe and every night because it talks about in the Bible Jesus got away to spend time with the Father God because there were there were things that he needed to know he needed to be I, I believe um, poured into the way any any son seeks to be poured into by his father or daughter by his father or mother the one who 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 created them, uh, they, they seek to be poured into. And so as you're going throughout this week, just realize that Jesus went away to be with the Father. How much more important is it that we get away to be with the Father? Now, of course, Jesus is the Savior of the world, so there was a lot of things. Maybe people are not looking to kill you. People may not be, uh, you know, just like at your throats the way that some of them were in G for uh, going after Jesus. But... The fact that he was criticized, the fact that he was mocked, the fact that he was probably put down, uh, you know, the fact that he struggled or may have struggled with identity is is something that you may very well relate to. And so I just want to encourage you, you know, uh, going through difficult times in life, uh, they, they're they going to happen. Jesus said, he said, uh like, do not be surprised when you have trials of, of different sorts because uh, I dealt with them too. And he says, you know, you wonder why people hate you. He says, don't or don't be don't be surprised when people hate you because the world hated me first. And so, again, as you're going through this life, as you're going through situations, know that you can come to your father because of Jesus. If you believe in Jesus, uh, you can come to the father and spend time with him and you can listen and hear the father and what he says to you a lot of ways we could do this is getting into the bible reading the word and i think a lot of times it's also just being still uh maybe going into your room closing your door and just being still before god and letting him speak to you sometimes uh some people i guess and i've never had this but hear god in an audible voice whereas others just have uh, an intuition kind of a feeling but, you know, I will say that in my times where I've spent praying, I have never walked away feeling worse than I did coming in. And I believe that this is a habit that we must create in our church, in our Christian walk. And I know a lot of times the word habit is looked very lowly upon in our church because people think it's religious or it's legalistic. But if Jesus did it, I feel like it's very important that we do it as well. So I just want to give you guys that. Uh, I just want to tell you I love you. We're praying for you. And we hope you have an amazing week. And we look forward to speaking to you next Monday. See you guys.